Hi, my name is Sayoni. I live in New York City and I am self-made, I guess. I'm not sure if this is interesting, but I'm currently naked, as you can see, just like sitting on the hotel bed and someone is playing fantasy football and doesn't want to give me any attention. It's so sad. I don't know if you can show this on the internet, but imagine having an ass like that and sitting on the bed like all by yourself, just alone because I of fantasy football. I should get dressed because the sooner I get dressed, the sooner we can leave and the sooner I can eat. I'm talking to the camera. So I went to San Francisco over the Labor Day weekend because I felt I needed to make a leap of faith. Usually I'm very measured, I'm very, very careful. And this time I said, fuck it. I bought a very cheap plane ticket and went to visit my ex who lives across the country. I will say for all of our shortcomings, we look really good together. I mean, I think so. I'm in San Francisco. I'm walking with he who will not be filmed. That's a question well, for me. For no, for me. Why would you be in it? I don't know. <laughs> the air quality is apparently negative zero. The world is burning and we're still getting food because I insisted on going somewhere to eat. People have noticed for a while that the businesses that are going away the fastest are minority owned, like black owned, brown owned, woman owned, just because they're not aware of these resources that they're entitled to. It's basically like having to be like on the front lines because they don't know that the government is supposed to take care of them in this time. It's selfish to say, oh God, I need a vacation. I need to take a leap of faith. I need to go be, do something I never really wouldn't do, but that's what I did. Yeah. You get a nice view of the skyline too. All right. I always feel like I want him to put in that extra effort, which isn't really fair because we'll do something like book a hotel room for three days and pay for everything and be very sweet the entire time. And it's still not enough because he won't say I love you or at least not consistently. It's still not enough because he won't ask me to stay for ever. He shouldn't be my priority. He shouldn't be the first thing I think about when I wake up or the for a social media profile I stock when I have free time. It's like time to let go and I never, I've never been good at letting go. I don't want this whole thing to be about him because it's like I have other things to do like, and I have other things I want. Like I want a PhD and maybe even a law degree. I wrote a memoir. It's about my time as an exotic dancer in New York City. I mean, I'm trying to get this published if these hoes can pay attention. Put this in the video. This is my ad. Am I meeting Grandly? I don't feel like going to dinner, but we do what we have to do to make money, don't we? I wrote about being a stripper for most of my 20s. I wrote about, um, oh, I shouldn't say that like I'm fucking 40. I'm like 27. But anyway, I wrote about the racial discrimination I experienced both as like, say, just doing freelance events and freelancing and, and, as, an, and as an exotic dancer. My regular, he makes beer. Not my regular, I guess my friend now that the club is closed. He always gives me cold brew and I think that's really sweet. So I was a Fulbright semi-finalist in, I think, 2019. I have a master's degree in like creative writing and my undergrad is in humanities. Part of what turned me off from the education industry was that teachers would get fired for having an OnlyFans. I had a professor tell me, like, look, don't get pregnant or people won't take you seriously. But to me, I'm like, I would never want a, a job where I couldn't be myself. And I don't even mean necessarily being uncouth or being unprofessional, but I would never want a job that would fire me when they hear that, oh, she used to strip, or that would fire me when I blog about racism. I would never want a job that basically didn't support me as a whole person. I'm really happy with the job I have now. I just wish it paid more. But I mean, hey, it happens. I'll hustle. So now I'm working. Basically, I did most of my work on the airplane. Uh, yeah, I just finished working. I'm exhausted. I'm literally about to sleep. The favorite thing I like about myself is I try. Things that I want, I make it happen. I don't want to have blinders on because I know I'm an American citizen. And I know that say having certain parents, even though they didn't necessarily financially support me after age 18, they didn't like severely beat me or severely abuse me. And that itself is a privilege. I will just say though, I've never had financial support after age 18 and I've paid my way through school, graduate school and undergraduate school. So when I say I'm a hustler and when I say I'm self-made, no one can really 
look in the back and say, I gave something to her. Someone can say, I gave her a chance, but they can't say, I gave her this thing. So that's what I like about myself. Oh, I look like shit. Okay, so I just want to say something. Isn't it funny how sometimes you see the close friends tab on Instagram and you're like, ooh, tea. Oh my God, so excited. But really, um, it's not tea. It's nothing. It's like a photo of a cat or some vaguely risque um, text or something spicy. They, like, and I, when I say spicy, I mean the way nutmeg is spicy. Like, this isn't tea, bitch. Like, why are you putting this on the close friends tab? Like, when I see the close friends tab, I'm hoping to see news. I'm hoping to see someone smoking weed or doing some sort of really illegal drugs. I'm hoping to see tea that you don't want other people to see. And no, y'all just be posting the dumbest shit.